my name is Jack Kenor I'm from Blue Bricks Productions. And I'm Lucas Cosby from Blue Bricks Productions. Okay. And you guys have this great Star Wars build here, so if you want to take us through and talk about what we've got here. Um, so we have, it's called Attack on Yavin 4. Um, so basically it's a Clone Wars era mock um, where there's a base, the clone base, and um, it's built on a river and the droids are basically invading the planet and attacking the base um, and the clones are defending. Um, so we have the droids coming through in the forests here. Um, they're unloading their troop carrier right here. Um, you can see the MTT being unloaded. And then there's some corporate alliance tanks, another one on that side, um, kind of leading the attack um, for the battle droids. And then um, kind of the commander right here overseeing um, some staps. Um, very cool. And so, Lucas, you're back here. You've got some stuff. Are you going to kind of show us what's inside here? Well, yeah, I mean, first we have a custom gunship we worked on over here. So it's, we based it off the instruction manual. We just changed the colors out and got spare parts we had lying around. So uh, if we just take it off, we have some pilots around here. If we take this off, you can sort of see the landing pad area and stuff. So we have the landing pad area. We have this here, which is kind of just an area for them to climb up. And uh, if we take this off, you can see the second story interior. Okay, so you've got it kind of layered here. I see some lights in there. That's neat. Um, unfortunately, the one right there, we don't have the power hooked up yet, but um, we should get that soon. Um, so kind of in here, we have the um, deck right here. Um, so that's kind of has an artillery station, um, some thermal detonators right there. Um, and then right in here, off the main hallway to the left, we have the like training center and um, weapons racks area. Um, so we got the guns, the armor racks. Um, and then behind that, we have like a shooting range. Um, so that's got some targets in there. Um, and then, Right next to that, we have the main hallway where Barris Offie and um, two clone troopers are kind of going down to help the attack on the deck. And then there's a commander kind of in the front um, going out. And then off to the right on the main hallway, we have like the mess hall right here. Um, and that has three tables and one trooper is just kind of sitting at the table, kind of waiting. And then um, beyond the mess hall, there's the barracks area, um, and the barracks have six bunk beds, which you snot. Um, that's our design for the bunk beds, um, and there's a few troopers sleeping in there. Um, and then beyond that, we have another hallway, um, and that has like an astromech droid. Um, so yeah. Okay, cool stuff. So that's kind of the top layer there. Can it go? Can you take off that? Um, so Lucas can take that off, and then we can also take off the deck panels. Um, so kind of starting to get in there, you have the, let's see if I can get a few off, you have kind of the swamp speeder, um, and that has a few escorts kind of taking that out. Um, and then you have kind of the speeder stalls area that hold the swamp speeders. Um, and there's only a few that are being held right now. Um, so, because the rest are in battle. Um, also, we have some automatic doors. If um, I can show you that. Um, so we gotta turn on the battery box and then we have this little area right here that comes out. And then the doors slide. Yeah, that's really neat. You got some nice action there. So originally we didn't plan to have any like technology worked into this, but um, we ended up doing it. And then back there where he's filming right now um, is kind of the control room. And Lucas, you can kind of tell a little bit. So we, we wanted like a scale, well, like a, model of the base, kind of like a hologram model. 
so we have the base over here and then everything is kind of like mirrored of the whole mock and then so and then there's a hallway in between with some detailing with the doors and stuff and then across the hall we have the medical bay which we have a clone trooper being carried in and uh, we have some beds not the same design as the one on the upper level because it's not snot and then a couple of lights like the ones in the, in the dentist office almost and um, yeah Jack can take it from here um, yeah, we also have like that custom medical droid back there, um, and then the stairs go up into another little area. Um, so yeah, Lucas designed that cool medical droid. Um, so that's pretty much the base. And then um, kind of outside you have an ATAP little Darth Vader that we bought here, kind of hanging on. It's an Easter egg. Then you have um, little clone troop squadron. Um, attacking like this wrecked corporate alliance tank here, um, lots of fire, and then Luminara is leading another troop of clone troopers into the um, across the water and attacking the droid area, um, and then we have another a wrecked swamp speeder and an area where the clones are hiding behind a fallen tree um, to take cover from the droids who are attacking. Um, and then back there, we have another ATAP um, with some footprints and um, some more swamp speeders, another little reinforcement battalion. And then to the right of the other swamp speeder, we have a um, fighter tank, which we designed from Brick Bros UK. It's an alternate build of the First Order snow speeder that you see if, in like two seconds of the movie. Um, so. We just did that and color-coded it green, like our gunship, to match the um, rest of the troops. And then there's a bridge crossing the water, so. Yeah, I think this whole thing came together really nicely. So as both of you collaborated on it, how did that work? Were you just at each other's houses or how did you talk to online? Yeah, we talked online kind of the fir like the last part of it when we were finishing out the second floor. Um, but Lucas was at my house. Um, Lots of late nights and lots of um, times we were just together working on this. Took two years, um, which is a very long time, even though, but I mean, getting all these parts was the real trick. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's very neat. And how does this build kind of come together? Did you build it in sections to set it up, or how does that work? We basically just kind of, we started with this base plate here, and we knew we wanted to do a river, so we just kind of, when we built the river, we just wanted it to kind of snake through, like we have it now, and then we added more beaches here, um, and then we also wanted to have it not like 100% flat, so Lucas, you can tell that. Um, yeah, we didn't want to have it 100% flat, so we kind of made a hill here with um, some mud and stuff, and we had trees as well. We wanted like a canopy, but not too thick so you could see everything, and like, we wanted it to be mobile as well. So there's, um, you, if you take some of the foliage off, you can see some connector bricks and plates here that connect all of the base plates together, because it's just separate base plates. You can sort of see the lines if you look carefully enough, and yeah. Yeah, so it just kind of makes things a little bit different and not just a flat base plate all the way across. 